Scary moments for parents after a false alarm about a shooting inside an elementary school in Granite School District. We have team coverage tonight from Granger Elementary, hearing from parents who rushed to get their kids and the message that they got from the district. But we're going to begin with new developments on what exactly happened to cause this scare. New specialist Shelby Lofton joins us live to explain. Shelby? Yeah, Mike and Dini, after that lockdown was lifted, the school day continued as normal, but we saw long lines of families here to pick up their students after an eventful morning. Obviously, some traumatic moments there. What a teacher thought were shots fired ended up being a noisy class project. It turns out that this was a science experiment going on in the next classroom space uh, with some volcanoes being developed and uh, creating large, loud noises. Granite School District spokesperson Ben Horsley said a teacher called 911 saying they heard gunshots. There's uh, loud noises to be had. And unfortunately, it just appears there was a lack of communication or a or misunderstanding. Nearly every police agency in the Valley showed up at Granger Elementary School. We tried to let parents know as quickly as possible. Unfortunately, we were getting uh, various reports and because of the miscommunication and uh, the vast response, um, while we did not feel the report was credible, police were in, in the midst of searching the building. Police ended up finding nothing during the lockdown. Horsley said the district wanted to tell families what was happening more quickly. Communication is pretty critical in these types of situations and uh, uh, probably could have been alleviated a lot of concern on the part of parents and the community as a whole um, uh, with some additional communications. He said the district applauds the actions the teacher took but added they could have alerted the front office about the noises. I think this is a, an opportunity to learn and grow, but at the same time, I would much rather have somebody report and call 911 when they see something suspicious or unsafe. Horsley said the school and the rest of the district is going to review its communication policies. He said, for example, a teacher should be giving a heads up if there's going to be loud noises coming from a classroom. He said that's already protocol but they're going to reiterate that to staff.